This lash artist wanted me to go to her page and audit her page and her work. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this a series. So if you want me to audit your work or look at your page and give you a few tips, leave your handle in the comments. Okay, so this lash artist has actually been contacting me um, on my live. She's a beginner lash artist. And from looking at this set, I'm gonna say that you're on the right track. The lash sets look full. I could tell that you did a prominent cat eye here. The only thing that I would say is to continue to work and improve on your isolation as well as your lash placement. Let's look at another photo. Yep, as I can tell here, this is a classic set. Um, very full, very good for, especially for a beginner lash artist. Again, just continue to work on your lash placement as well as your isolation. But this is a really, really good start. Now let's go on to a couple of tips for your page. These type of pictures don't do anything for a potential client. They know that they're looking at lashes, but a few things that you can improve on is number one, you want to take a picture, a photo of your client face on like this. You want to be able to show the client's full face so the potential client can picture themselves with lashes. Showing the full face of before and after will definitely get them in the mind frame of what they will potentially look like with lashes. Another thing is, and I see this with a lot of beginning lash artists, you have to separate your personal posts from your business posts. When I go to your lash page, everything should be about lashes. There shouldn't be anything that does not contain to lashes. Your lash journey, your troubles as a lash artist, educating me on lashes before and after pictures and videos of your clients and models, your setup, um, your consultations, the different lash styles that you do. Everything on your page needs to be about nothing but lashes. The reason why this is important is because you want to market to girls that are interested in lashes or want to learn more about lashes. You do not want to confuse your audience. You should be known as the lash girl, basically. If I want to learn about lashes, I should be able to come to your page. That should be the mindset and the psychology of the audience that you attract to your page. I really hope this helps. Again, if you're a beginner lash artist and you want me to do an audit of your work and your page, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments and I'll definitely make a series out of this. I really enjoy doing this. And again, I hope this helped.